locate and defuse a bomb. Okie dokie. What's up, folks? I'm on your actual coastline, so I'm gonna give you a coastline defense and attack. Okay, so we're gonna start off with penthouse and theater. So, um, spawn locations for this uh, main door. Watch for spawn peak here. Um, sometimes they're a little clever. You'll either see a spawn peak angle hell from there. One down on this side or one down on this side here. Um, one from the window there. So um, first thing you want to do I'm attacking penthouse and uh, um, penthouse and uh, and a uh, theater. So you want to open up the window. Get the hatch. And then you want your uh, your um, buck to come back down. Okay, so operators you'll need for this attack. Buck, thermite. Uh, buck, thermite. Ash, ying, Sophia. Uh, everybody's saying, well, why no Thatcher? Oh, you don't need a Thatcher in a second. Just give me a second. Anyway, you want to take over main lobby. First place you want to take over is main lobby after the hatches. Well, you can actually do this first before you hit the hatch and everything else. You take over main lobby. It's the first thing you want to do. Take over main lobby down here, which means clear out the roamers that Bomb are probably playing in here, the kitchen, or wherever. Uh, you want to clear out main lobby first. Uh, when going for an A push. When also going for an A push, what you want to do is you want to come over here. Start about right there. Kind of work your way across. To this. Uh, can't get that part. But. Work your way across to about there. And you see. This gives you. The whole line of. Where people place the bandit batteries. And stuff like that. So after you clear. Clear out the one roamer. That's one kill here for your pulse. Or whoever's playing underneath. That's one pulse down. Bandit battery, bandit battery, bandit battery. Hopefully a kill. If not a kill, then and, you, and hopefully you don't get killed in the process, then they'll probably rotate, which is fine too. So after you do that and you secure that wall for your teammates, um, by that time you'll have your teammates up on... What balcony is this? I think DJ pool balcony. They'll be on DJ pool balcony. And they also call that, uh, most people just call it a uh, theater. So they'll be up, not theater, but a uh, VIP lounge. So they'll be up on VIP lounge and all of that. Um, the next thing you could do is um, you come in here because you want to clear out uh, um, the, uh, the people. More than likely, there'll be folks on the mirrors here. Anyway, you just want to pretty much walk open. All of that, this whole thing here, get as much of, you, well actually, so I'll say this, no ash, take a jackal, take a jackal and a buck, have your jackal and your buck come down here, clear out the roamers, one take this one, one take the B side, you usually have more, uh, what do you call that? Shotgun thingies. But in a custom, I don't know why that don't give you as many. Anyway, you want to clear this all out under here to get the people off of the two mirrors. They're playing them with double mirrors right there. Okay. So hopefully this is another kill here. So it should be essentially a 5v, what, 3, 5v2 now or 5v3. All right. So after you've done that, your buck has cleared that out, cleared the backside part out. Next thing you want to do... You want to get uh, your buck or your jackal after they're finished clearing out whatever they need to do. Actually, you don't need... No, take take the ash because you could use the uh, the ash charges to do this this portion. So just take the buck for downstairs and the ash. This. Um, hit this with an ash charge that opens up this wall if it's not barricaded. 
Um, Ash, Ash plays over top of the hatch. You'll use her stuns to take out ADSs. To use her stuns to take out ADSs. Um, so now you're ready to move in. Use uh, Buck's grenades also to take out ADSs. What you need to take out. Okay. Now, now you're ready to make your push. So, uh, you secure downstairs. You got them moved to where you want them moved to. The next thing is to take over VIP lounge. To get in here, get, get to the wall, thermite the wall. Have the wall open. Um, have it so there's a rotation between here and this hallway, uh, Hall of Fame hallway, you have two options of planting with Ying. You have one here, and then you have the option with Thermite here. So, those are your two options. What you can do is, uh, what I would like to do, is so I'd have uh, Sophia at this point playing the window at an angle, of course, because you've cleared out the roamers. We don't have to worry about runouts that much. It could be a late run out, but that's what your claymores and stuff will be for. Um, have her shoot her, her, uh, her Zofia charge. Shoot about three of them in there. And just pretty much have her watch from the window. Thermite has the option of planting in this corner here. This corner here. Or what I like to do. Which just throws them off a little bit. Is I have Ying throw her smoke here, launch the candelas over, back that way, cutting off any of this. After the smoke goes down, plant the bomb. The diffuser. Plant the bomb right there. The diffuser has so, been secured. Um, and that's pretty much the round. After that, after the bomb is planted, what you could have is if Ying has a candela left, she could throw another one back here. She could push in to secure the frags that she needs to. Uh, your, you have your Sophia playing the window, which means at that point in time, she could be expendable. Meaning if somebody runs out on her, that's fine. Because that locates a person for you where you, where you need to cut off at. Um, your Ash that was at the hatch drops, drops hatch, covers bomb. From from hatch that oh, actually she stays on the roof, stays on the roof. She doesn't really have an angle from the roof, but if she needs to drop, she could drop. Um, you have your thermite over here in this corner that can also cut off door, or he could cut off that side if he needs to. Um, who else do we have? You got see Ying Ash, Sophia, thermite, and Buck. So your buck, your buck's job after that will pretty much, um, he could do one or two things. He could patrol the hallways to cut off the hallway rotations, um, preferably in order for them to rotate site. They got to come either two ways down this hallway here through, through here. If they go downstairs and they come up around this way, he'll still hear them being here. So he could play here, cut the hallway off, which allows Thermite, if he dies, then Thermite takes his place. That's pretty much how you attack uh, upstairs for this. Um, same thing pretty much applies for the B-bomb site, just in reverse. You have, you open this wall here. You've already moved the people where you need to move them at. Um, you cut off the, the two or three roamers. Usually you have somebody play play the hall from here watching the steps. Watch the steps from here. You'll have somebody up against the wall here to watch rotations through. Um, the bomb usually should be playing the smokes hit the door. Um, usually there's a vault hole here on this side and it's a fully barricaded on this side. So um, if you're Sophia playing the window still. Um, 15 seconds left. You you watch the window from there. Usually, there's two places left. you can plant the bomb here. You can plant it here, or you can smoke it out Five here. Plant right there, and that's how you attack uh, 
penthouse and theater. A bomb must be located at okay, so the next site we're going to learn to uh, attack is... Uh, let's start with a... Uh, I don't know what we call this. No, actually, we're going to start upstairs with a... Uh, you located a bomb. With a... Uh, Hookah lounge and billboard. Okay. So attack in this room. First thing you want to do is get out. Spawn locations. Um, you can spawn back here. Best spawn is back here to take over this site. Uh, what you want to do, just like uh, before, you kind of want to get in. Downstairs. Yeah. Want to get in downstairs. And you want to make people move. So. Usually there's somebody in. Playing over here. Cutting off this. You will have. Usually a roamer somewhere around over here. In, uh, in theater. Theater. VIP that area. So what you want to do. Is really what you want to do, depending on the take you want to have. Um, the best room to kind of push in this case would be bump site uh, B, I believe. This would be B or A. I don't know which which letter it would be, but anyway, that's that's the site you want to push. Hookah lounge. So, in order to push hookah lounge, which first need to do, you need to get into get into sunrise. Take over sunrise. Do as much destruction to the floor as possible, so you could uh, get the people to move out of there. That that is in there. Usually, it's somebody playing over here by this hatch here. So you kind of want to like break open the floor here to get them to move move from that position. So that you only have to deal with the person here to contend with or somebody launching a C4 from this site. Okay. So people that you need, operators that you need for this site. Um, Capital. Capital. Uh, let's see. You could take Capital, Ash, Buck, Ying. Capital. No. Take Capital, Sophia, Ying, Buck, and you could take either. Uh, I would take Glass, Glass or Blackbeard instead of Ash. Glass or Blackbeard. I'm trying to wait to find to find a way to fit Ash in because I know a lot of people like to play Ash. Anyway, only job your 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 Glass has really giving calls from the window here or cutting off the plant right here at the door. That's his job. So he'll sit here with his thermal scope, look over the ledge, kill whoever needs him. That's his job. The glasses job. Or to cut off rotel, the blackbeard's job, to cut off rotations, repel up at the window, cut off the rotations there. Um your operators to have your claymores. Your claymore run out here. Downstairs. Claymore run out here. Claymore run out from up there on that line, that door there, and um, to attack this bomb site. Um, so then, okay. So what you want to do is after you clear out Sunrise and you clear out Blue Bar, you're now ready to uh, to um, you move the people out of where you need to move them from. Now your objective is to get the roamer that's playing inside of. Uh, Theater and um, theater and uh, what do they call this? Theater and penthouse. Get this person out here, okay? So that you can have somebody here that can watch the rotations from here to cut those off. Um, another place a person can play to cut off. You can also have your glass play up here to cut off anybody in the hallway with his thermal scope. That's another place he could play. 
if you're attacking this bomb site. So after you clear out the roamer downstairs, which is generally your pulse, you clear out your pulse, you clear out your roamer in um, theater, theater or billiards. There's another one that usually plays inside of here, aquarium. And they kind of just cover this back hallway here. Um, here's kind of a non-factor. What you want to do is after you clear clear this out though, you just want to cut off his ability to rotate through the hall. So um, what you do is you can have somebody hold an angle here, or you can actually be out in the hallway, like right here, just cutting this this off, which makes them funnel through uh, aquarium back to where you want them. Okay, so get the plan off. After you clear the two roamers, you go back out, have whoever your uh, your three people are that are ready to plant the uh, plant the bomb. After you've uh, done that, what you'll have is you'll have uh, the person, one person, come down long hallway here, and you'll pretty much just clamp this person from underneath and long hallway. You'll clamp and make this person move. You throw your candelas out in the hallway. Um, the prevents them stuns and boom you kill this person on the mirror here um, after you've pretty much done that um, there's one person watching your window already for you so you have two people do that one person on the window watching stuff from the window probably holding an angle kind of a tight angle like about like right here so somebody has to come all the way around to kill him. So you have him holding that angle there. Um, clear the hallway, plant the bomb, essentially. Plant the bomb, once you plant the bomb, you can have your yin come in, post up back here. She can cut off hallway here, cut off people coming in there. Have your person, another person just on drone, pretty much their whole responsibility this door will probably be claymore or or you'll have the ying tell them yo somebody's rotating downstairs to watch this this person's job is pretty much just to watch the bomb they'll be out here they have one out one job just to watch the bomb um after you have that person watching the bomb just in case your ying dies or somebody else dies and it happens to uh Pretty much uh, his responsibility will just be to come up and shoot the person who's defusing. And that's how you take this bomb site. To take this bomb site, um, it's actually a little more complicated. You need to take over the top here, aquarium hallway. You'll have your buck underneath here. Pretty much buck open stuff. Have a thermite. Oh, no, you, you would need a thermite to take this site. Well, you don't necessarily need one. But anyway, you come in, you need to clear out whoever's behind here. So usually there will be probably be one playing in there. So what you can do to move that guy, have somebody play on this window there. There'll be a hole in that window in there. You come in here, get yourself in the corner here, have the person. Or actually, I would plant here. Get, get somebody in this corner here, kind of just to watch this door. Watch the person, have somebody on the window watching back here. Um, pretty much have to kill the two same roamers. The one underneath and the one that'll be here to cut off those rotations. You plant the bomb, smoke it out, plant the bomb, kill everybody. Um, it seems simpler, but it's a little harder because this balcony the is no longer in your possession. It's kinda it's really hard to take. So uh you would probably come in through main lobby. That's how I would do it. Coming through main lobby, have somebody drop from here. After I've got my buck that's destructed the floor to move the person out of uh, aquarium, come in and then throw my smokes, my, my candelas, plant the bomb window. And that is how you win uh, aquarium. Oh, uh, not aquarium. Billboard and hookah lounge. Proceed to bomb location and Okay, so we're going to do sunrise and. Uh, and blue bar okay so this one's kind of easy to kind of push doesn't really take much thought or like any real big thing what you want to do first thing you want to do if 
you're gonna take seven hours. Take over kitchen. Take over kitchen and whatever this is called, service entrance. Cut off everything here. Um, take over kitchen and have somebody take over um, hookah. Once you're taking over hookah and the hatch here, so operators you'll need for this will be Hibana, Thermite, Thatcher, Ying, and Ash, or or Sophia. If you think Sophia is a better op op option than Ash, which she is, because she brings more utility. She brings the same amount of uh, destructibility that Ash brings. Her gun is equally as good, not as fast as the same fire rate, but it's equally as good. And she has uh, um, gizmo mines that she can set off and stuff. Either. So, this is what you want to do. After you take over... Um, here, right? After you take over hookah and kitchen with somebody. You have three operators. One guy's responsibility pretty much you have located a bomb. to cut off rotations from here, from here, and from window here. That's his job. You send the two people, your thermite and your thatcher in. That thermite opens this wall here. Uh, also, this wall will be, oh, this window will be open as well. Thermite opens the wall. Thatcher opens the wall. Ying throws her smokes here as a decoy. Just think the plant is, think the plant's going down over here. Person comes in, plants the bomb here. End of round. Rotates back out the window. Responsibility, locking down blue bar, making sure nobody comes out of blue bar that's that person's responsibility you have the person cutting off kitchen which cuts off the rotation to the bomb uh the person that's upstairs is guarding the hatch so um if they come through here which they probably won't hit his responsibility or her responsibility you need to shoot them uh your thermite can watch pretty much from this side person rushes out pops them Thatcher watches from this side. Round is pretty much over when it comes to attacking Sunrise. Sunrise is really easy to attack. If you want to attack A, and you want to attack, uh, what do you call this? Um, blue bar? You take over um, this side, which is office side. I'm going to take over office side. First, you, well, first thing you want to do is you want to take over main line. Take over main lobby. Have somebody repel up here to take over aquarium hatch. There. After you taken over main lobby, um, have your Thatcher and your Thermite. Um, you're using your Habana will take over the hatches. That's your job. If they're reinforced or uh, reinforced, she'll take over that. Have your Thatcher and your Thermite come open up this wall. You could then have uh, you could have your ying or somebody plant there on this wall back here. Preferably, I would like them to come in, kind of plant back right here. Then you'll have um, yeah, I guess your one of your thermite, your thermite or your Thatcher, pretty much just cutting off the rotation in the hallway from here. Um, after Habana takes over. Is the hatch she takes over the hatch um, she can rotate to where she comes down main lobby stairs and takes over kitchen to cut off rotations if she needs to um, or she can help the person out securing offices usually it only takes like one person to secure office because nobody's gonna really push into here once the hatch is open once they open the hatch people are playing in there are gonna move so uh, take over main lobby first, hat second, office third, get the wall open, get the yings and the, uh, the smokes and the yings down. Um, Sophia, what's Sophia doing? Sophia's job is to pretty much watch, she'll impact Nate, well actually no, she'll play offices. You have Sophia impact Nate in from offices, and then what you'll have, who did I say, Thermite Thatcher, um, 
you don't have anybody watching from the window outside, but you don't need it. Because even if they rotate from here and they hop in here, the first thing is they got to look at somebody here in the doorway. But by that time, somebody could have already rotated in, cutting off stuff there. Tons of places you can cut stuff off. And that's pretty much how you take over um, Blue Bar. Uh, yeah. This is for attacking um, service entrance and kitchen. Okay, so if you want to attack kitchen, that's what you need to do. The first thing you need to do is need to clear out upstairs. Clear out upstairs by doing simple things. Come in with your buck. Book. Come in here. Pretty much just open up, move the person off that area, which is usually playing the mirror right here, covering the service bomb. You move him off there. Come over here. You move the person. Just playing kitchen there. Um, after you, pretty much taking care of those two. You'll have two people come in. The next place you want to clear up. So, so what you do is you get the hatch first to let them know that you're here. Come in and you clear out behind the counter. After you clear it out behind the counter, and that's after you take care of the people that are playing up here. You located a bomb. Could be a rumor or two up here. You never know. This is always a tricky one to hold because you get and you just see why you need a roamer up here because of the simplicity of doing that. That that clears out sunrise. So you clear it out sunrise and you clear it out uh, the kitchen where they could be sitting. Usually be somebody over in this area or like right here behind the barn or something like that. So you, once you clear that out, the next thing you need to do downstairs you're attacking uh, what do you need operators. operators you need for this uh, you need a thermite unless you want to open up this wall wall here is this destructible no it's not so you want a thermite you want to open up the wall here um, you don't necessarily need a thatcher because once you've taken over Sunrise, after you've cleared the people out of Sunrise, it's easy to come down into Sunrise. You can get the bandit battery off the wall. Open up the wall here with the thermite. Come back here, pretty much cut off the whole kitchen. Um, so you'll need, let's see. I'll take Jackal, Jackal, Buck, Montaigne. Jackal, Buck, Montaigne, Thermite, and Yank. That's a, that's a nice operator push for this site. Um, somebody saying, you haven't used Lion all since, since for this map at all. I don't really need him, honestly. Um, you can take him if you want to. You know, I'm not telling you that you can't take any operators that you want to take. I'm just telling you the best ones to do this, this type of stuff. Destructibility. You want destructible operators, people that can destruct stuff. So Buck, um, Buck and, and Jackal are perfect. Um, Ying throws in smokes. Jackal throws in smokes. Uh, a couple places you can plant. Uh, one is here. You can have somebody out here on the window. But pretty much everybody will be inside the building. So the expectations are for the plant to go down over here, which is fine. You have your yin and those people kind of do that. What you could do is really have your monitor just as the, a distraction. Have him come in and like already have this window open. Have him kind of just like walk through the site. Like, uh, yeah. Because they'll be focused on him, but they'll be more focused on you. Have him post up over here in the corner. You have oh, dropped the defender. bomb. As thermite covers from there. The diffuser is now secured. Um, you got somebody covering from uh, the the door here. 
like your ying or somebody like that that can kind of throw that off um, somebody cutting off main lobby Let me cut that off from out here somebody rotates in on the thermite they'll then press their main lobby takes their position montane plants the bomb thermite's watching from back here picking off whoever he needs to pick off on the bomb so that's what one two three four people covering angles and then of course you have your person here from kitchen so you have your person here cutting this off and you have your person here so that's all five operators that's in in the site with montane you see your ying your ying turn your ying into a fragger like i know most people don't play it right, but your ying can replace your ash and things like that to be a fragger so because she has the utility to so turn her into your fragger and that is how you attack what bomb would this be kitchen bomb if you want to do service bomb what you want to do it's kind of sim much the same thing you want to move this person off of this steel so you still want to open this up uh, you want to move the person I'm gonna show you where that is I'm pretty sure y'all know what that is I showed you that previously in another on um, another round of this but I'll show you again here pretty much just open it. and you move the person off back here I want to move that person out um gonna attack that site you want to do that and then what you did upstairs first clear all of that out the next thing you want to do after you've taken over upstairs and killed that person that generally does a hop out from this window or just patrols that upstairs. I want to come over here, open up main lobby, take over main lobby. Instead of having the thermite open up this wall, what you do? You should have them open up this wall. Where the bathroom is. You have them open up this wall. Um, this plant's actually easier than the other one. Uh, still take the same operators. You don't need, need a different operator. Push same operators. Hey, Montaigne kind of just walk in, do what he needs to do, or walk in from over here, do what he needs to do. Um, throw your yings in. Throw your yings in. Have Thermite watching this from all the way pretty much back here. Watching the ball. Uh, he could watch it from there. You can have somebody cutting off me. This entrance from here. Um, somebody outside there or service entrance here. Cutting off rotations. Tons of places you can cut off rotations. That's two places you can plant. Um, you can throw your smokes in right here. Hop over the desk and plant here. Um, Hopefully your buck has like some more utility. There's usually a hole already here for you. So you don't really need that because the people watch from there. So usually a hole already there for you. If it's not a hole, just simply have your buck come in. Have your jack will come in. Make that hole there. So you plant the bomb there and watch. Pretty much watch from the uh, the drone hole outside. Um, you, there's that option. You could plant directly at the door. Don't necessarily recommend that, but you can do that. And have watch rotations pretty much the same way. Just prevent them from getting to the actual bomb. Have that person put a drone on the bomb. Kind of just back off just in case somebody hops over. They can watch from there. They can watch from... Let's see. Here, the bomb is planted in the doorway up here watch the bomb from here it might be a little harder because people you can long arm the bomb so uh, definitely make sure that your montane whoever's in the site is giving you that call just in case you need to hop down real quick and um, go kill them um, that's pretty much how you take um, service and um, 
kitchen. 15 seconds left. 